We are previewing UFC 158 here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshek, and I'm joined today uh, once again by returning guest Nick Kalikas, professional MMA odds maker and sportsbook consultant. And on the phone, we have uh, calling in Miguel Iterate from MMAOddsBreaker.com. All right, guys, the last fight on the main card that we're going to talk about is Nick Ring and Chris Camozzi. And right now, the line is minus 115, minus 115. And uh, I'll admit, this line confuses me a little bit. Uh, I would have expected Kamozi to be a you know significantly bigger favorite. He's improved. He's the one who's uh, who's got the uh, the momentum here. Uh, yet the line you know it's it, it's it's basically flat. Minus one fifteen, minus one fifteen. Nick, where'd you open this? I actually opened at Nick Ring minus one eighty. Really? Opener. Yeah. And based on I agree with uh, the public early on here. The, mm -hmm. Like the smaller betters. I think they're on the right track here, obviously, mm -hmm. because um, the drop in the line, no, most of the times you'll see the public kind of steam up the favorites and, you know, they're on the wrong track. But in this yeah. particular case, I thought they were going to really come in on Nick Ring. Why? Because he has, he seems to be like the more hyped of the two fighters. Chris Camozzi doesn't typically get a lot of respect out there. Mm -hmm. I respect the guy. I think he's a tremendous right. talent. Um, he's a very well-rounded fighter. He trains hard, has a good attitude, always improves his game, and shows up to fight. So I love the guy. I think that uh, he's a tremendous talent. So that's why I think the public is on the right track here a little bit. But we're going to see this line. It's not going to say pick him. Nick mm -hmm. Ring is going to be the slight favorite. You think so? Yeah, it's not going to even flip to uh, Camozzi being the favorite at all. Because the betting public, as we get closer to fight time, this is a fairly fresh line. I opened it this morning, actually. Mm -hmm. So, um, the, again, the initial action did come in on the dog. But we're going to see more action on Ring, yeah, definitely. I don't know. To me, it just he, Kamosi looks like he's improving, and maybe we'll have we'll see an even bigger improvement in this one. While uh, Ring, you know, he's had just some kind of controversial decisions, and um, I don't know, uh, Miguel Iterate, What do you make of these lines? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna pick Nick Ring in the fight, okay. and I'll give you uh, my main reason for it is both guys are around the same level of fighter. You know, they've been hanging around the UFC for three, four, five fights, something around there. Uh, they've had some successes. They've, uh, you know, gotten beat when they got put in with bigger, you know, with, with, with better guys and that sort of stuff. So it's the kind of thing where um, I start looking for X factors. And you're right. Nick Ring has fought a couple of close decisions. In fact, a lot of people thought he lost some of those fights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the way I analyze that that makes him dangerous is he, I don't know what it is, but he does have a crowd pleasing style, a, a judge pleasing style, mm -hmm. maybe. But it's happened a couple of times, and I see that with the crowd and him in Canada and stuff. Hopefully, you know, if his, his fans, if he has any fans, and they, they, they come up, he's going to get into a situation where um, the judges are just going to give him rounds. And Kamosi's just good enough to, you know, maybe stalemate him is what I see. I see both guys around the same level. They're both very tough, good, you know, up-and-coming fighters. Winner moves up, moves up, the other one... Uh, stays at that level for another little bit. Definitely, right. if it goes to the cards, you got to give that edge to um, to yeah. Nick Ring because it is kind of in his backyard. Um, but before I got into this fight, I honestly, from what the public, like the typical general public out there on all the major sites and all that, they're picking Nick Ring. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, so I automatically thought I'm going to probably have to open up Nick Ring over two and a half to one mm -hmm. or around two and a half to one or so that much. Because if you think about it, Nick Ring was actually the one as far as the upper echelon 185ers. I mean, he was in there against uh, recently he was matched up. It didn't happen, but against uh, Costas Philippou. Sure. He was in there against Tim Bosch. Um, now, Kamozi, on the other hand, he hasn't had those kind of marquee matchups as well. So he's on the maybe middle echelon of the, mm -hmm. of the middleweight fighters. And I think that Nick Ring is kind of on the upper level. So common sense says that Nick Ring has to be the favorite. But like I said, I think the intelligence came in early on Kamozi because after I did my research, again, that was my initial thought on the fight. Okay, I'm gonna, the public seems to be in love with Nick Ring. Um, I personally think that Nick Ring has a, the wrestling edge. He's going to probably outpoint Kamozi in this fight. But then I started doing my research in this fight, and I started liking Kamozi more and more and more. Right. That's why I opened it actually 180. I thought I was going to open it over 2-1. to one. Hmm. So honestly, I opened it 180 a little high right. because of the public hype. I thought it was going to get bet over 2-1. to one. So again, out there, whoever took the uh, plus money early on, I think you're on the right track because wow. it's going to hit the cards more than likely. And if it does, it's going to be an ultra-competitive decision. I mean, Kamozi has a slight reach advantage. He stays busy in fights. I don't think, actually, that Nick Ring's going to have a huge wrestling edge in this fight. If it is, it's going to be small. I don't think he's going to be able to take uh, Kamozi down and control him that well. Um, if he does, Kamozi, that's the little concern here because Kamozi has had his back taken before on the ground, and he can get finished by submission. That seems to be his flaw. Now, he seems to address some of those factors, and he's looked good in his last few fights, yeah, definitely. Yeah, improving. So, yep, definitely. So that, that's what I mean about him actually working hard. He's one of those fighters that wants to get better, exactly. wants to improve, and he, he, it shows. Yeah. So I love it, and I think actually 
if you get decent plus money, which you will again. Again, it's sitting at a pick right now, but I'm sure um, as you know this video gets out there, the line might increase a little bit more on Nick Ring. I could be wrong, mm -hmm. but I think it, we will see Nick Ring maybe climb up to around 150-ish or so. Hmm. There might be worth a bet again on plus money on Kamozi, but it's going to be an ultra competitive fight. It is going to be in Canada, and the judges suck as it is. I mean, yeah, let's, right. they're they're no, horrible. Let's look. Come on. Yeah, I mean it's awful, and it doesn't get any better. It's frustrating. I mean, a lot of the fans out there, the bet MMA. I mean, they, they let referees and judges, everybody have it afterwards on Twitter and all, all sorts of places because they get so frustrated with the bad decisions, bad refereeing, everything. So those are the flaws the sport still has. Occupy and, UFC. <laughs> That's what we have to do. No. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, it's sad to say, but uh, <laughs> we're probably going to see some questionable decisions again. And again, it's in Canada, so right. it's what it is. Wow. We're guaranteed one Eve Levine screw-up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this initial uh, action on Kamozi, was that, was that public guys just liking him, or was that sharp guys well, against him? I mean, him? again, it was a smaller, I think. Uh, sharper public uh, Yeah, guys. not right, dumb. Right. Like, I don't know if you right. consider them some of the early action sharp, sharp, but again, guys that are, um, are not squares. I wouldn't call them squares, though, right, either. Right. You know, it was some right. of the smaller action guys that definitely know the sport well and should get some respect, and I think they did come in on the right way.